Hello there students. Today we're going to talk about redox reactions and how to balance them. To start off, what is a redox reaction? A redox reaction is the transfer of electrons from a species to another. It is when an atom loses an electron and another atom gains electrons. To show you this concept, I'll be using cellular respiration as an example. That would be glucose plus oxygen gives us carbon dioxide plus water. So let's start. In a redox reaction, a species is being oxidized and another species is being reduced. To find which is being oxidized and reduced, we have to assign an oxidation number to each element by following these rules right here. So we can do that right now. We know from the rules right here that an element by itself is always zero. So oxygen's oxidation number is zero. And right here we have glucose. We can start with oxygen. Right here, oxygen is usually negative two when it's not a peroxide. So this would be negative two. And if we multiply those two together, we get negative 12. Here we have hydrogen. Hydrogen is plus one with non-metals. This is a non-metal, so this would be plus one. And one times 12, that will give us plus 12. And as we can see, this equation right here is balanced. And so this would mean that carbon is zero. So the oxidation number of carbon is zero. Awesome. So now we can also find oxygen right here. So that would be negative two. And that would give us negative four. And to make this balance, we have to add plus four. So the oxidation number of carbon would be plus four. And water. Um, oxygen is negative two, so this would give us negative two. And hydrogen is plus one. And if we multiply those two together, we get plus two. And this is also balanced. So as we can see, uh, here we have uh, carbon losing electrons and getting a plus four for its oxidation number. So we can say that this whole thing, glucose, is being oxidized to make carbon dioxide. So we can write that down here. And what is being reduced? So since uh, oxygen is gaining electrons, it's, it gets a number of negative two, an oxidation number of negative two, so that is being reduced. Now that we know what's being oxidized and reduced, we can use the half reactions method to balance the charges and the coefficient. We start with what's being oxidized. So in this case, glucose to carbon dioxide. Now you find the coefficients. So here we have six carbon, here we have six oxygen, and here we have 12 hydrogens. Here we only have one carbon, so let's put six to start balancing. So now we have six. We have now 12 oxygens and zero hydrogens. When you are balancing, you always start with balancing oxygen with adding water. So now we have six oxygen. We should add six more waters to give us six more oxygens. And now we have six plus six. That would make it 12. Now we no longer have 12 hydrogens because we have 12 here and 12 here. So now we have 24 hydrogens. Here, because we don't have any hydrogens, we need a proton. So we have 24 protons here, or hydrogen, sorry. 24 hydrogens, so we should add 24 protons and that would give us 24 hydrogens. But now we can see that we have a charge here of plus 24, and we have a net charge here of zero. So to get rid of this net charge of 24, we add 24 electrons. Okay, so now that is balanced. Now we go to, the, to what's being reduced. So in this case, oxygen being reduced to H2O, water. So coefficients, we have two oxygens here 
and we have one oxygen here and two um, hydrogens. We need hydrogen here and we have two and one oxygen. Okay, so what we are gonna do is we are going to add a water here to make this two oxygens. But now we have four hydrogens and two, and we have none here. So to add a hydrogen, we add a proton. So four protons. And that would give us four. a net balance of zero here and a net balance of plus four. To get rid of that net balance of plus four, we add four electrons. Now that both equations are balanced, we have to multiply uh, the whole equation to give us an equal amount of electrons. So 24 electrons divided by 4, that would be 6. So let's multiply this whole equation by 6 to give us 24 electrons and 24 electrons. So this would give us 24 electrons plus 24 hydrogens or protons, plus six oxygens. That will give us six H2Os plus another six H2Os. And now we bring this equation down here. So that would be six waters plus carbon or glucose, sorry, to give us six carbon dioxides plus 24 protons plus 24 electrons. We can cancel this 24 electrons with this 24 electrons, this 24 protons with this 24 protons. We can cancel this water right here with this water right here. And we can now just combine these two equations to give us the final result for cellular respiration. So we can combine glucose so plus six oxygens to give us six carbon dioxides plus six H2Os. And here we have it. Cellular respiration, all balance. All of the charges are equal to each other. And awesome, thanks for coming.